back to Storytime with Mrs. Bonzel. Today, I have a book to read for you that is, I call it a Mother's Day book. It's about a mother's prayer for her children. Um, and I thought we could do a little craft afterwards after I'm done reading the book. But this craft, at that point, we're going to ask if there's moms in the room, if they wouldn't mind going to a different room or closing their ears because we want to do something for Mother's Day for them. So I want to say hello to everybody. Hi, Reagan. Hi, Lucas. How are you doing? Hi, Mason. Hi, Michael and Isabella and Michaela. Hope I see baby Luke is growing awfully fast. Hi, Audra and Bella. Did I mention you already? Hey, Paisley, Paisley and Hazel. And let's see, we have Kale and Hunter and Rosie and Oliver. I'm so glad you guys are joining our church family. Glad to see you join us. Connor, Emma, Jocelyn, Juliet, and Savannah. Hi, girls. How are you doing? Andrew and Emily, um, Everett and Claire and Miranda, and we have Alyssa and Trisha, Max and Jared. So glad to see you joining Mrs. Stubman for her Sunday school classes. Anybody else want to join her? She welcome you. Hi, Parker and Brayden, Asher and Andrew and Ethan. Hi, Dimitri. Hi, Gavin and Sebastian. Hope you're all doing well. Sierra, how you doing? Cheyenne and Landon, Emma, Sean and Grayson. Hi, Cole. How's it going? Hi, Madison, Noah and Zane. Hope you're all doing well. Um, the book that I'm going to read today is called When I Pray For You. It's by Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by Kimberly Barnes. And Matthew Paul Turner, I sent him an email to make sure it was okay that I could read his book to you. And he said he would be honored. So I'm very grateful for that. I found his book on Amazon and he has some really cool books. I have some other ones that are by him also. This is When God Made Light. He also wrote... When God Made the World, and he wrote one. I think I might read this to you some other time, When God Made You, and the illustrations are also awesome on these books. But today, in honor of Mother's Day on Sunday, I'm going to read When I Pray for You. Again, by Matthew Paul Turner, illustrated by Kimberly Barnes. When I Pray for You. From the moment I saw you, I started to pray. Big prayers and small ones I have sent God's way. I prayed as I held you when you sat in my lap. I prayed while you rocked, while we rocked, as we peacefully napped. As you took your first steps and when you started to run, as I pushed you on swing sets or we skipped in the sun, I prayed you felt safe, full of joy and content, that when I whispered, I love you, you knew what I meant. When you said your first word, repeating what you'd heard, when you mooed like a cow or tweeted like a bird, when you giggled out loud or made yourself proud, to God I said, thank you. And to you, I said, wow. As I watched you pretend all alone or with friends, I prayed over you again and again. Cause when I pray for you, God knows this is true. Every word I whisper is a prayer for me too. At the moment I hear you jump out of bed, I start praying that God puts good thoughts in your head. I pray when you're smiling and when you feel sad. I pray when you're sick embarrassed or mad. When you're kicking a ball or twirling in place, when I know what you're thinking by the look on your face, I pray you go strong, grow strong, have passion and fight 
and stand up for what's good with all of your might. Illustrations are beautiful. I pray heaven protects you, that you're generous and kind, that your brave little spirit never ceases to shine, that you believe in yourself and follow what's true, that your confidence grows just as fast as you do. As I drive you to school, while you splash in a pool, as you challenge a friend to a lightsaber duel, when you open your eyes to a birthday surprise, when the joy on your face cannot be disguised. I pray you love well, that the light in you swells, that the story God writes is the one that you tell. Because when I pray for you, I imagine God's view and pray all that God sees comes alive inside you. When suddenly it seems you've gotten so tall, when you've grown up so much that my lap's way too small, when you're glued to a screen or your bedroom's unclean, when you're no longer a child, but not yet a teen. Look at this page is going the other way. I'll pray when you're hyper, obnoxious, or chill. I'll pray when you're chatty and cannot sit still. When you're running relays or performing school plays, or you're somewhere in the middle of a garage band phase. When you know all the answers, or just think that you do, when you find out the hard way, you know less than you knew. I'll pray you choose hope should you ever face fear and seek wisdom with patience when the pathway's unclear that you will love others, whether strangers or friends, with the same kind of love that God feels for them. Because when I pray for you, no matter what we go through, the dreams that you dream, I'll be dreaming them too. At the moment you realize it's time to explore, I'll pray God gives you wings and like an eagle, you'll soar. I'll pray where you go that wherever you land, you'll find purpose and meaning and a role in God's plan. That you'll know who you are and like what you do and love yourself fully as God wants you to. I'll pray you keep shining, that God keeps refining, that your story reflects what in you God's designing, that you'll give and you'll share with compassion and care that how you live life will to God be a prayer.
Because when I pray for you, I pray all that you do brings love and brings light and helps the world shine like new. And that's when I pray for you. Moms pray for their kids a lot because they want them to have a happy and full life. Now, if mom is in the room, I'll ask that she move to a different room. If dad's there, great, he can help out, he can listen in too. What we're going to do today is I was going to use some watercolors. I have my apron on that my daughter Megan made for me. I have a cup of water and I have my palette with some paints, a paintbrush, and some paper. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wet this paper with just plain old water. And then I'm going to dip my brush into my watercolor. And I'm going to just put different color, put some color onto the paper. I can go the other way. You see that? Doesn't look like much. I'm not painting a picture. I'm just putting color on there. Maybe I'll get a different color. How about, oh, I don't know if I have much blue left. Let's see. I'll add some blue. It might be hard for you to see it. Can you see there's blue on there too? And then I'm gonna let that paper dry. Let it dry. And while it's drying, when it's dry, I'm going to get a scissor and here's where you might need some help. I did some before you, before we started. Here's some purple. And I am just going to cut out a shape since in church we've been talking about the heart of the matter, I thought hearts are a great shape to use for Mother's Day. Not only does it go with our church theme, but hmm, hearts and love and moms all go together. So I just cut a heart shape out of my watercolor paper. You can see here, just cut out. You might have to get a pencil first and draw the shape first before you cut it out. And then I got another piece of paper, construction paper, watercolor paper, and I folded it in half to make it into a card, and I cut out a few more of these heart shapes, and I glued them onto the front of the paper, and that's the front of my card. So now we have now we have hearts on the front, and when you open up, you can write whatever you want inside. Mommy, happy Mother's Day. Mommy, I love you. Mommy, thanks for all the good things you do for me. Mommy, I pray for you and thank you for praying for me. I mean, you can come up with your own thing because I'm sure you have lots of things that you can say to your mom on Mother's Day. And now you have a homemade card made especially for your mom. Don't forget to sign it, of course. And if you want to put the date on it too, because that would be a nice reminder for mom when you made that card. I keep finding cards that my children made a long time ago. Megan made this card for me, and it was in 2001. You weren't even born then yet. So I've had this one for 19 years. I've been hanging on to this card. So cards from our kids are very important to us, and lots of moms hang on to them for a long time. I thank you for joining me today. I love reading that story to you. I think that Matthew Paul Turner writes some really cool stories, and I'm looking forward to reading some other ones to you in the future. I want you always to remember that I love you and that God loves you and that your church loves you. We do miss you and we hope you are staying safe and staying healthy and taking care of each other. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.